uh, protesters here in D.C., in New York, across the country, uh, they've settled on a nickname for the president. Uh, they've been calling him Genocide Joe. They wrote it on the gates. Um, do you have a response from the White House to that nickname that they've settled on? Uh, we're not worried about nicknames and bumper stickers. I mean, uh, it, it's First Amendment free speech. Um, uh, the president's focused on, as he wrote in his op-ed, on making sure that we can continue to support Israel as they fight a terrible terrorist group, Hamas, um, and as we all work together to get humanitarian assistance in and get people out, including hostages. Um, I, I said this the other day. Again, n people can say what they want on, on the sidewalk, and that, that we respect that. That's what the First Amendment's about. But this word genocide is getting thrown around in a pretty inappropriate way by lots of different folks. Uh, what Hamas wants, make no mistake about it, is genocide. They want to wipe Israel off the map. They've said so publicly more than one occasion. In fact, just recently. And they've said that they're not going to stop. What happened on the 7th of October is going to happen again and again and again. And what happened on the 7th of October? Murder, slaughter of innocent people in their homes or at a music festival. That's genocidal intentions. Yes, there are too many civilian casualties in Gaza. Yes, the numbers are too high. Yes, fam too many families are grieving. And yes, we continue to urge the Israelis to be as careful and cautious as possible. That's not going to stop from the president right on down. But Israel is not trying to wipe the Palestinian people off the map. Israel's not trying to wipe Gaza off the map. Israel's trying to defend itself against a genocidal terrorist threat. So when we're going to start, if we're going to start using that word, fine, let's use it appropriately. Okay, way in the back. 